guys and welcome back to my channel. So today you're going to get to tour my spring cleaned kitchen. I have finished everything. I cleaned the oven. I uh, cleaned all the cabinets out, wiped everything down, washed all the outside of the shaker uh, cabinet doors. I've done everything but the refrigerator and I will do that another day because I'm just tired. <laughs> I can't say anything else except I'm just exhausted. Okay, so as you top the stairs uh, entering into my apartment, uh, to the right is the kitchen. So let's go in there and I'll show you everything that I have done. So this is my little basket where I keep my clutter, um, my incoming mail and bills that I have to pay. I have a notepad here with uh, notes written on it of things I have to do. I keep my medications in here. I have my little thing of Lubriderm. So to kind of hide that, I just put one of my palm uh, plants here. I thought that that would look beautiful, and I believe that it will get enough sun from the window here in the afternoon. It should uh, get plenty of sun. So let's get started. Um, I will show you my cabinets last. So um, I did clean all the countertops. I got my microwave nice and clean. I will do another video of uh, my favorite things for the kitchen from Amazon. And this little um, oink oink piggy um, food cover is one of my favorite things. So I will do a separate video and, and I'll link the, um, the items in my um, Amazon store. So this is my beautiful um, glass top stove. I'll show you the bottom. I decided to store some of my baking items down there and my iron skillets stay in here. Cast iron skillets. So thank the good Lord, this is a self clean oven. But this one came really clean. And um, I will be linking these oven liners in my Amazon store also because they are a lifesaver. Now I had already cleaned underneath the hood the other day so uh, that saved me a lot of time not having to do that today. And then these are my all uh, granite countertops. The one thing that does disappoint me about this kitchen is that there is no backsplash. But uh, many of y'all have told me about the backsplash that I can order from um, Amazon or pick up at Home Depot. So that's what I will do. So let me show you um, the inside of my cabinets. This is where I keep my mixing bowls up there. I have two sets of mixing bowls and then my plastic containers. And then this is where I keep a couple of plates, a couple of bowls. You know, I can only eat on one plate at a time, so I don't need the entire set here. And then I keep my paper plates here. Okay, so these are my spices, my Pam, and more of my spices down here. I did remove everything, and I cleaned all the cabinets with um, my spray cleaner. And then this is just some miscellaneous um, stuff in here. I keep my coffee made, extra coffee up there. I have a few napkin straws. Uh, that's where I keep my noodles. And those are my little cups that I purchased to do my measurements with. I have my Louisiana tea there. I can only find it at Dollar General, and I actually had to drive to Amityville, y'all, to get my Lipton, my um, Louisiana tea that's made in New Orleans. That's where I keep my bay leaves and thyme, my spices. I do have my sweet spices here, like my cinnamon and vanilla extract. Most of my baking goods are in this cabinet. Um, this is where I keep my baking powder, baking soda, my Hershey's cocoa. Okay, so we'll go down to the my drawers. This is where I keep my um, kitchen gadgets. I don't have a lot. Um, I do have some still in my closet that were gifted to me that I have to um, get out of the box and put them in my drawer because I do want to start using them. I just keep my measuring cups in there and um, measuring spoons. And then this is my uh, utensils. Now, I had bought these salad spoons and really didn't have a place for them. 
But um, every time I opened and closed my drawer, you know, it would it would um go back. So I thought, well, I'll just put these here, and it will serve as a good storage space for them and an anchor to keep that from sliding to the back of the drawer. And then these are my pots and pans down here. I bought that big box of Splenda off of Amazon, and that's the only place I can find to keep it. And then I keep my um, rolling pin and my um, mat there together. And I did buy the sifter. Y'all tell me, don't oh, don't worry about one of those big old aluminum flower sifter things. Get one of those. So I picked it up at Dollar Tree. Okay, so this is my Lazy Susan over here. I think this was the hardest thing to organize in the uh, house. I pu pulled everything out and put labels on everything, cleaned all down in there. I love this Lazy Susan. And my sugar, flour, more flour, which I bagged also so it doesn't make a mess. I still have plenty of room if I decide to do some prepping and um, buy some stuff that I want to hold on to for later. This is where I keep my oil, vinegar, and I have my pasta sauces here. Just my canned items are on this Lazy Susan. I, I wash the tops of the cans before I store them, so whenever I'm ready to eat, and I, eat some of the food, I don't have to worry about washing the tops of the cans. So that's my extra food there. And then, da 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 da, <laughs> the dreaded underneath the sink. I usually just, um, some days I leave my dish drainer out on the countertop, but then other days I decide I don't want to look at it all day, so I just stick it down here. But this is my little bin I picked up at Dollar Tree for my potatoes and onions and garlic. And then I keep my garbage bags there. And then these are my cleaning products. Several of y'all told me don't use the Comet on the porcelain in my bathroom, so I decided to bring it in here and use it on my stainless steel sink. And it did an excellent job. I got all down in here with a toothbrush and got it nice and clean. I'm also going to show y'all um, the pure water filter and where you can purchase it from Amazon. I highly recommend it. Okay, and then this is my drawer where I keep my dish towels. I don't use dish rags. I did for many, many years, but I just decided to use these sponges. I love the Scotch 3M sponges. After I use them, I wash them out real good, and then I put them in the microwave for about 15 seconds to kill the germs and bacteria. So I just kind of fold my towels Similar to the way Marie Kondo does. I fold them in thirds and then I just roll them. You can actually get so much more in the drawer. And the drawer closes and opens easily. And you could, um, you know, if you wanted to, I'll show y'all how to fold this. But you just make a little pocket. And if you want to stick a little sprig of, um, I don't know, maybe some, um, a fake flower, um, and then I have my, uh, these are my paper products here, my tin foil and my bags. Sometimes I will take those bags out of the cardboard, but it just depends on if I'm OCD in that day or not. <laughs> if my OCD is really bad, I get rid of all the cardboard. But here's the other piece of the set of the little ongoing, <laughs> This is the, the bacon holder, and I will also link this in another video. And I love it. It does keep bacon fresh a very long time. I really haven't found a place for my pitcher. It's usually in the refrigerator most of the time anyway because I do make um, iced tea in it. And that's my Jowid, um food saver. I have plenty of bags there. Um, I'll be uh, doing some shopping and stocking up on some meat and using my food saver to keep those 
products stored and keep them from getting freezer burn. Okay, so that's about it for my, um, oh, gosh, it took less than 15 minutes to show you the finished product, but um, it sure took me about four or five hours to do all of the work, but I'm happy that it's done. It, it's done. It's over with. You know, it's a lot easier to keep your home clean than it is to get it clean once it's gotten real dirty and out of hand. So that's what I plan on doing. I've done a pretty good job keeping it clean since I moved in here, but there have been a, a few weeks when I did a lot of babysitting and just could not keep it clean. So I'm very happy to have it back to um, like new order again. And I'm glad that y'all have enjoyed my uh, spring cleaning series. It makes me feel so good to know that I'm doing something, uh, making some content that y'all enjoy watching. So y'all please give me a thumbs up. And if, if you're on Facebook and have Facebook friends, please uh, send my channel link to them and ask them to check out Glenda Sully. Um, so I just want to thank you for your kindness, your good comments. So don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, share, and y'all just keep on coming back. Bye, guys.